The question number three is to multiply binomials by applying the pattern form of the squares of sums or differences. These are the identities. You might have remembered the sum of squares, square of the uh, sum of differences. Say a plus b the whole squared. This is a squared plus 2 times a b plus b squared. Another one would be a minus b the whole squared a squared minus 2ab plus b squared and also we have a squared minus b squared that will be a plus b a minus b these are few of the identities that you need to use if you're getting confused with these identities imagine in the exam you've forgotten you can use the foil method or if you're even forgotten that then do the calculator method which i told you in the last question directly we will now look into a problem I will do all the methods and then I will show you the calculator method again in this. It's just similar to what we had done earlier. So if it is FOIL, what we did, just multiply these two, it will be a squared plus 10a, again plus 10a, plus 10 times 10 is 100. Now here you simplify the middle terms, it will be a squared plus 20a plus 100. The formula for this is, a plus b the whole square right because the same term that means it's a plus 10 a plus 10 into a plus 10 is squared so what happens over here is basically you squared the first term a squared the formula is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared then 2 times a b multiply what is a a is a b is 10 10 a multiplied with 2 so it is 20 a and lastly squared the last term 100 so any way you do you get this this is a bit shorter if you remember the formula here it is again a b minus 6 the whole square that will be the only this term will be minus here so it will be b squared minus 2 times 6 is 12 b plus 36 so you can directly find this okay now you can see the answers whichever method you do it's the same now what what i'll show you is again the calculator method so take out your calculators all you need to do over here is say uh, i'll take the second problem assume the value for b i've told you consider 1.5 or something like that okay and then now what i do is i'll just substitute over there 1.5 minus 6 and 1.5 minus 6. The answer is 81 by 4. You can remember this. It's 9 squared by 2 squared basically. 81 by 4. Now the simplified answer was over here. This would be one of your options. You know, you'll have four options, different ones. You need to choose the correct one. So in all your options, sorry, uh, just substitute 1.5 squared instead of the value b. The variable is considered to be 1.5 minus 12 times 1.5 plus 36. Now you get the same answer 81 by 4. That's 9 square by 2 square. So this is how you easily solve it up. You can do this to any problem and you will get the answer. So I will leave you these problems to do it by yourselves. Please do go through them and check the method because it's same and you will get the answer. Since this is question number three, you will have four options and please do employ this method and you will get it. So this is the same thing over here as well. And over here, uh, all are having single variables. Now, even if there are two variables, I'll tell you how to do it. This is all straightforward. Okay, now you can see here, H and N, there are two separate variables. They are not the same. Okay, they're not the same. How would you solve such problems? No worries, it's like, you know, the first variable consider 1.5, second variable consider it as 2.5. Whenever you use calculate, I take decimal points so it'll be more accurate, okay? It's not like you won't get, even if you take two, it'll be the same thing, doesn't matter. But this is just with me, just avoid one because I know there are few rare cases where it may not work with the one. Never take zero, uh, it's very hard to understand with zero. 
uh, and also negative numbers avoid them take positive values 1 2 1 point. but i just take 1.5 and 2.5 because we're using calculators right now here i will substitute h as 1.5 so use this brackets appropriately 8 into 1.5 minus 4 into n is 2.5 close the bracket and square it up what's the answer it's 4 so now you will have four options and one of the option will give you four others cannot give you if they give it give you the same thing it's wrong because these both are equal to each other so if it's equal only one must be equal not all should be equal right so only when they're equal if you put any value for h and n it must be the same thing so that is 64 times 1.5 squared minus 64 into 1.5 what is n value it's 2.5 plus 16 into what is n again 2.5 squared the answer is 4 itself over here also we got 4 so it's correct you can try it over here by yourselves we move on to the real world problem the problem question number 11 here a city planner is proposing a roundabout to improve traffic flow at a busy intersection write a polynomial equation for the area a of the traffic circle if the radius of the outer circle is r and the width of the road is 18 feet okay you need to find the radius of this one okay so what you do is basically wait one second uh write the polynomial equation for the area of the traffic circle so basically sorry not the uh, this this circle over here okay the outer part can you see this so this one is required to be found out now how would you find the radius can you directly do um you know we know this is 18 so can i do area of a circle is pi r squared can i directly do it as pi into 18 squared this would be wrong because a circle is always from the center you need to know the radius now what is from the center to over here this is the entire circle even this grass is included which we do not want we just want this circle right the road so now if we do only the, the entire circle it will be pi r squared and now we got the entire circle but i don't want this grass what to do find the radius sorry one second let me just erase the graph so find this particular radius from year to year and what i'll do is the entire circle is over here pi r square minus this one r say g r grass okay anything what is that r g value it is total r minus 18 so over here I, I have to do pi r square and again pi r square but this time r grass is equal to what r minus 18 the whole square so this is your equation basically so i'll repeat it we need this particular circle see can you see this outer circle over here okay and that's very bad and the inner circle so all this region is required which i'm just you know scratching out now that region that area is required so how do we find that region it's a circle we know yes so we have the radius over here the total radius from here to the outermost circle that is r so if you find pi r square we get the entire thing we get the inner part as well which we do not want so how do we find the inner circle um, only this inner circle so if we do the total circle the total minus this inner r total minus r inner isn't it so we found total will be pi r squared minus the inner would be this radius is required that is total minus 18 so if we minus the road length we will get r g whatever is that so or r inner so that is pi r minus 18 the whole square so you have to just simplify this this will remain over here pi r squared minus what happens over here is pi remains what is this we can solve it it will be r square uh, minus 36 r what is 18 squared it is 300 and something um, i'll just use calculator here it'll be over 300 but uh, i just can't remember the exact value it is 324 okay yeah i just anyways we will write it as 
plus oh sorry that was r this is r plus 324 now you just multiply this inside you will get you know you can simplify and further now it depends on the option how it is given but over here we can again use the direct calculator method so i will show you the calculator method directly but the most important thing is this equation only this equation needs to be written by yourselves because it's not given anywhere so i will write it again i'll remove everything and write it again we need to know the outermost radius that is pi r squared that is unknown minus pi inner circle it is total r minus this 18 that is r minus 18 the whole square so this is it now this would be the ra radius of the roads okay uh, radius for the construction now you can see the answers over here the final answer you can see pi r square minus again what we had got just now okay that is the answer but what we do over here now is first assume the r value you can assume anything i will just assume 1.5 because that's usually what i assume r equals 1.5 and now just substitute over here that is pi r squared that is 1.5 squared minus pi sorry shift and this over here pi open the bracket r is again 1.5 minus 18 the whole square now you need okay this is typed in properly right yeah press equal to you get negative 270 pi that's fine just write it out they get you 270 pi this must be the same answer even in the solution so you will have four options over here area is how much this is the answer okay or it's simplified over here that's fine you can choose any of the answer which is given all the four options just try it out but r value is 1.5 so i'll write it over here see this is the same thing okay this is what we had written I think so this won't be the answer this is the thing which you must write by yourself the simplified version is over here at the right side or the above part okay i will use the right side one so it's 36 in 36 pi shift and the symbol sorry it's over here multiply it with r what is r it's 1.5 minus 9 close the bracket press equal to we are getting same answer isn't it minus 270 pi so this is how we solve it just make sure you use substitute the same r value in all the four options only one option will match all the others will be wrong answers that's how we do it here another problem uh, it's about cubes kivon has two number cubes edge each edge of a number cube a is three millimeters okay uh, of cube a is three sorry i didn't read it properly each edge of the number cube A is 3 millimeters less than the number cube B. Okay, you can see over here, this is a bit bigger. If you compare the sizes, this is smaller, this is bigger. So this is having X mm. But the cube A is 3 mm smaller than this. If this is X, it'll, this will be X minus 3. That's it. Now, edge of each number cube is x mm, that's given, millimeters. Write an equation that models the surface area of the cube A. Okay, surface area. How do we find the surface area? First of all, what is the area over here? Area would be, uh, you know, one side length is this, one more is this, right? Just multiply these both, you will get the area. In this case, it will be x minus 3, that is the area the cross-sectional area x minus 3 the whole square because area is length into width since it's a cube that means it's equal sides you just square them up but now what is the surface area surface area how many surfaces are there for a cube there is one two three four five and six if you remember so let me just draw a little bit of 3d dimension over here okay now you can see one is this side one front side two left side three back side four then up one more and down is two so there are six four plus two is six 
So the surface area is six times the cross-sectional area, x minus three, the whole squared. This is how you understand. But in the exam, you can do a simple thing. If you remember the formula, surface area is given as six times side length, any lengths, okay, side length, the square of that. That's it, six L squared. I can't remember the formula exactly. Let's quickly, okay, it's six S squared. S is the side length, yeah. So it's given as uh, anything, L, S, anything, as long as you understand. That's the most important thing. And we know we are the cube is what? Six minus three, the length of that. So you need to just do six S squared and get the answer. Now over here, right, again, you can use the calculator. All you do is assume a value, substitute over here in the given question, six, assume X as 1.5 and find the answer. And in the final answer also, it must be matching. Only that is the correct answer. That's how we do it. Okay, if the figure is not given, you need to understand they gave cube B as X. So, and they told cube A is less than that by three. So X minus three. And they have told only the surface area of cube A. So this is how we solve this particular problem. Now we will move on to the next two over here. We can see the probability. The spinner has two equal sections, blue B and red R. Use the square of a sum to determine the possible combinations of spinning spinners two times. Okay, it's uh, directly possible combination of spinning. Determine the possible combination. I think so it is just addition the square. The spinner has two equal sections, blue and red. Use the square of sum. Square of sum means making it square, okay, to determine the possible combination of spinning two times. You basically just add the two possibilities because it's heads plus tails if it's two times like this, right? So it is blue plus red, the whole square, I guess. Um, yeah, you just uh, do it, okay? So two times means, see now uh, we have done this in the probability. So something is happening two times, you multiply it six into six, two times, three times, again, four times. Over here, you just, you know, it's basically six cubed. That's the same thing, you know. So that's the thing. But only the thing over here is you need to square it and use the formula. Now, what if there are two separate terms? Say over here, B and R, there are two separate things. How do you do it? So this is, first of all, the identity. And I just realized this is wrong. This should be squared over here. I apologize for that. This is missing. It is R squared. Okay, B squared plus 2BR plus R squared. This is such a basic formula. You should remember it. It will be A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. That's it. Now, if you still forget it, you can assume values. Assume 1.5 over here and 2.5 over here. And then solve it up. You will get certain answer. It will be uh, 4 squared. It will be 16. You need to put this also. Find the answer. It will be 16. So then you will get the answers. So that's how you basically do it. You can assume two separate values. You have done it before. And over here, the combo lock company finds that its profit data from 2015 to the present can be modeled by the function y equals 2n plus 11 the whole square. Where y is the profit in thousands of dollars, n is the years since 2015. Which special product does this polynomial demonstrate? Simplify the polynomial. You just have to simplify this. So you have to just use the power, you know, square them. It'll be 2n the whole square. See this formula we use, that's it. Plus 2 times a is 2n, b is 11, plus 11 squared. So it'll be 4n squared plus 44n plus 121. Okay, that will be the answer. And that's it. Here you can also assume n as a certain value, substitute over here and over here in this given question and all the four options, you will get the answer. So that is also possible. And that's the end. Please do practice more problems. Be thorough with them. You can use the calculator method because this is question number three. It is possible. But try to understand the method as well because that is very useful in the uh, future classes as well, future terms and future grades, further grades. So please do try and make an attempt to understand it and see you in the next video.